Are you ready? Are you ready to pot it up? I'm Let's go. So Let's have fun. So Pete cast it. This is the Simply Youth Ministry Podcast with Doug Fields. But we are an award-winning podcast. And we ought to start promoting that. Matt McGill. Let's cool. soak up what that awesome. How great is this? Wow. Josh That's Griffin. It's just to throw it in there. Not all of our shows are going to be great. And Katie Edwards. This That's what the funny. teens are saying. Yeah. <laughs> right in. We'll answer your email. That's why I'm podcast at gmail.com. Yeah. Welcome to the Simply Youth Ministry Podcast, episode 161. This is Doug Fields with his sure. co-host, Katie Edwards, and co-co-host, Josh Griffin. Ah, nice. And the star of the show, Co-co. Matt McGill. The Atlas carrying the show, Matt McGill. The Atlas? This is Matt. Atlas Shrugged. Okay. Greek. Josh showed up 12 minutes late and came in a little wounded on his puppy dog I think look. it was nine and a half minutes late. Well, maybe. Is Atlas and then Greek we or bantered Roman? for three. But, oh, no. <laughs> I don't know anything. Ron would know. He would. He was watching. Hey, Ron. Ron. Ron's watching. I thought he was I a love teacher. Ron. Well, on I, how Wednesdays, does he, get away with he has that? a library while we have our podcast, so he can awesome. watch it. Awesome. Yeah. That's cool. beautiful. Ron. Hi, Ron. Ron. Katie is married to one of the cooler humans alive. Is he in the chat room, too? That'd be awesome. Who is a little I bit wish. of a passive-aggressive Twitter, your husband is. Oh, no. no. What? Well, he doesn't, no. you know, two years into Twitter, he's still getting the hang of it a little bit. No, because <laughs> like, in real life, he's like so mellow and yes. cool Not when he's watching and sports, and though. Sports. Yeah, he turns into sports Ron. Yeah, not wall. Sports Ron is a whole different persona than yeah. Ron Ron. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, so it's not passive aggressive. You're just not with him when he's sports watching sports. Ron I don't is, watch sports I hide either. my kids upstairs during the <laughs> Lakers game. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so they don't tough learn for Lakers words. fans. That's kind of how yeah. I am when I play Settlers of Catan. <laughs> so there's a good on humor is good it was yeah. good, yeah. good week. it was good on twitter too is it a yeah. video game no, no it's an old it or not. school board game it's a really old german board game but very popular in the german united things. states very yeah. popular yep yep i won my first What's two games like? which is almost unheard of it's like risk, I was gonna say risk it's like risk but more complex and in my opinion you collect resources, you build things. You I only was, need 10 points to win. I How was hard is that? a different universe than you two guys. Because oh, don't lump me in with Settlers of Catan. No, well, I got I a I know what it is, I get that's into, it. I get into bed last night at midnight. I'm, I had was at a meeting last night, then I went with Mark Matlock for like two and a half hours. I get home at midnight, in bed, talking to Kathy. I, my text goes off, you Twittering that you just dominated some game. <laughs> I'm going, Crisis? Ha, so ha, good, dude. How do you guys have the time to just play games? What? From what? 11 to 12 at night, you can play games. <laughs> yeah, that's it. 11, yeah. Yeah, I played. I we mean, started playing you? Settlers of Catan last night at 9.30. So five people came over, and it was great. It's good. It was great. Germans? No, one German. How long it was does it Dominic. Take to play the game? Well, an hour or two hours. It depends, I think. But it's different it every was, time. It was Dominic who great friend of ours it was allison and german and german who's on who's on used to be on all our teams he's on my team now uh another guy brian price who's on my team so it's also like just fun that's great yeah yeah Yeah, it's great that's good any anybody that came that you stole from Josh's team? <laughs> Ryan didn't come. No, I did invite. Oh, I did you invite stolen husband. one so far? So far, there's more. There's more feelers out from what I understand. I think, yeah, no, I've only stolen one so far. I mean, if stealing is what you call it. Yeah, that's yeah. what Maybe I call it. That's, a, that's what I call it too. <laughs> what do you say? Maybe luring is a better word. Luring, yes. Like, what do you say? Like luring. Luring. Uh, luring. I thought you meant a luring, luring, which is something over luring? in England. What's yeah, that luring? Right? Luring. I don't know. Luring. What is a lorry? A lorry is something. I don't know, but this podcast well, is brought to you by MoreThanDodgeball.com. Uh, <laughs> that's and, right. And um, here is a an interesting question from that's, Mark that's... Eads. He says, "I don't know if it'd be fun, but I thought I thought it would be. Hmm. How about before the podcast, you work with a live show, okay. and come up with four or five unique words that you guys have to work into the podcast show and <laughs> say a number of times." That's funny. All right, sounds good. Then you could ask people. The unique words they think you use. Reveal them on the next podcast and go from there. The words could be anything. Silly, pointless luring. words. Codes. <laughs> <For example. laughs> discount merchandise. Oh, wow. Promo um, codes. Something that they the podcast be. crew enjoys eating. Maybe everyone else in the world is wrong. It feels easy. Yeah, what do you guys think of that idea? Yeah, it's only fun. I think it's Let's fun. try it today. 
It's a little too no, complex. Too How many people are on the live show? It's too late. It's a little too complex. Oh, I thought maybe you did it before I got here. <laughs> it definitely is. We did a lot of things before you got here. Has a lot of layers to it. The idea. Yeah, like winter wear. You know, um, <coughs> last last week, totally. I was in like um, Orlando, and the week before, I was at the Orange Conference, talking to many of all our podcasts. All these vacations you go on? They're all vacations. <laughs> all vacations. Especially hey, the Orange Conference. vacations. I went out to lunch with some of our podcast friends. Oh, that's fun. Oh. And T- friends or team? Team. They're when I'm with them, they're friends. <laughs> when they're at when their they're staff th- meeting right now, th- th- we're part of team, team meeting. Right. Okay. Um, but many of them were asking about how come we don't eBay stuff. They were bringing back some of the, oh, the old, old bits stuff, that yeah. were like those are those were some so of the, good. The magic that's lost now that yeah. we've changed hosts. I that's understand. Totally. <laughs> I get it. Oh, wow. I feel your pain, guys. Well, those early eBays. <laughs> like I mean, that's what paid part. for all the private education of your children, right? Absolutely. <laughs> I was going to say all my video games. That money? <laughs> Did we ever I think into? we had a slight confrontation on the side <laughs> with Josh. <laughs> I think we sent no. almost a thousand dollars to we, Compassion. Is we what did. we did. It, it was not a confrontation. It was just like a. It was a. It was like a two week. It was a two week <laughs> delay or something. It wasn't even that big of a deal. No, I was making that up. I don't even remember. Oh that. yeah, no, there was a delay. That oh, I was like, hey, what's the deal here? Oh. Yeah, and it was all in Matt's mind, that and it was had been the done for weeks. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Matt still it isn't was, sure if it's I'm ever sure been done. I'm sure it's all in my He's mind. Like, I'm sure I'm the tax right off of that. Wait a minute. Wh- whose memory are we really wanting to challenge at this table? Oh, gosh. Well, I've eaten a lot of Outback Watch. based on yours, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, That's fun. All right, so we don't have a secret word today. We had a fun time today. the other night. The three of us with our spouses, minus mine, were Denny's after the wedding on Friday night. Oh, that was fun. a good time. Yeah. That was so great to see all those people. It was fun. It was fun. So we fun. got to go to a wedding on Friday night. Um, it was I got to do the great. wedding. Yep. And you guys got to the, eat at the reception. You yeah, were hysterical. Yeah. Like you were, that was like, so, I, we were laughing through the whole wedding. It yeah, was so that fun. was funny. Really, really funny. I was telling somebody, I felt like it was a little bit of a student ministers reunion and a wedding happened at the same time, which yeah. is weird. <laughs> <laughs> a wedding just happened. Well, a wedding you, was going on while Doug, we were having a really good Doug time. Doug knows together. the wedding rule. You, the, the groom is the target. Totally. And you destroyed him. You reduced him to nothing. Yeah. And, was, and the bride he was worthy of destruction. Oh, uh, he, he, totally. yeah, yeah, he can destroy. And you, good. Well, you had to, you had to, because he, he's he's been a little bit of a player on our youth. Yeah, he's team. a little bit of a pretty boy. Yeah, yes. everybody falls in love with him. No, Lots no shame in that, Matt. Crushes. You understand the cross that is to carry, but. Yeah. Totally. I mean, of course. A bunch of girls that have had crushes. Seriously, on when people think of me, they think of the word womanizer. <laughs> <laughs> See, that would be a nice sound bite. Yeah, that's yeah, it, right there. That is a Clip sound that bite out for the next that intro. Is- uh, anyhow, you killed the groom, really and, and, and rightfully so. Hilarious. So and then you took a few nice but gentle, you know, shots at the bride. Very, very subtle. Yeah. Because you got to be careful. Yeah, it was fun. Although, did did I, have we have we not talked about the word shapely? Shapely hands. Yeah. I don't think I think that was intended to be a tender moment, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, and people laughed at that. And people misread it so badly. <laughs> it and you're funny. like, look at it, look at her hands. These are the hands, shapely. And everyone just goes, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> like they couldn't somehow shapely hands was hilarious. Well, well, because I you, felt bad. You were like searching for a word to say, yeah. and I think you landed on shapely. Well, like, it was you shapely were... or pruny. <laughs> When she comes out of the pool, her pruny hands. You're like, his hands are strong, and da da da, da. And, then, and her hands are. And you like search for like Le- leathery. A and, <laughs> oh, what's the right word? Uh, and anyway, like a dragon. We, it was brilliant. We got to I'm all saying. be together, Katie. And oh, we fun. missed. We missed you afterwards. We closed Denny's down, which you really no, that's can't fun. do. Yeah. This is from Chris Harkins, who is now a volunteer. Used to be a youth pastor in Arizona. Ah, uh, yeah. Now moved back here. And he's on Josh's he is. high school he's on our team. team. He's incredible. He took so over a small group for us. So grateful for all your insight and humor. Love You've helped me through some difficult times, mm-hmm. both in ministry and out. I'm a double rewind member. Heard them at least twice. Thanks for all you oh. do. So I think he's sending in a picture for a double rewind. Oh wow! I well, need to enlarge so that. Guy, guy down pictures. the street. I guess we can put him on the wall too. Yeah, I thought absolutely. It's funny. Absolutely. Chris, good dude. This is from Christopher Lorette. Don't steal him, Matt. Funny thing about last week's podcast, I was eating a burrito while I was watching it. I think I'm more excited about it than I should be by virtue of me actually writing this email. I think I'm on the same page as Matt. I was also inspired by the way of teaching that kid about humility 
and how Scripture just confirmed this kid's opinions. Jesus used questions all the time to teach, and him prodding his student along the way to help him think really made me just think, that's a Jesus moment. In any case, thanks to the podcast, conferences, and books, they've been very helpful to this first-year youth pastor. So Matt, just to, right out of you eating burrito and eating a burrito and seeing God's hand ministered to somebody else, I thought that was very That's cool. cool. Quick, quick aside: Have you guys ever had a quesarito at Chipotle? I saw, I saw your Twitter, Twitter on, on that. that. No one has ever. I feel like I've been left out. They make a quesadilla. Here, I want to do something first. I don't know about that. Lean forward. I don't think you're supposed to announce. Yeah, thank you. Would you take care of my sweat? A little sweat. Thank you. Is my... that why you were late? Um, no, I was right on time. You guys were just early. <laughs> the uh, the quesarito is like a secret menu item. It's a secret menu item. They That's make a quesadilla. Supposed, you're not supposed to announce secret oh, menu items. Oh, but I'm telling my friends. Okay. It's like word yeah, of mouth. You're 80,000 people that follow you on Twitter. I saw your tweet, crazy oh, person. Oh, interesting. Well. <laughs> That's all right. It's only a few things. Anyhow, they make a quesadilla. They open it up, build your burrito, then roll it up like a burrito. So instead of just like cold cheese and whatever, it's hot melted cheese all around your it's unbelievable. Wow. So it adds a yeah, few thousand calories, but it's worth it. Yeah. Hey, you look good, by the way. 1,006 calories it. today. That's why I'm late. <laughs> and sweaty. And it's really sweaty. I took a, I, I tried to take the coldest shower so I wouldn't sweat because I don't like to. Yeah. yeah. This is from Sean Penrose, HDTM Student I know. Ministries. I know. Hey, I was listening Sorry. to you guys being excited about the life book, as you should be. Our student ministry used them, and they're simply amazing. I've loved getting to have students share their stories about books taken as well as books thrown back at them. For several of my students, it was a life-changing event as they took steps to share their faith in the context and not just waiting until the mission trip to share Christ. Just thought I would let you know it's a great resource and a great sponsor. That's this was awesome. in reference to, we had a sponsor two episodes ago, um, the Life Book. That was awesome. And I actually gave one to my daughter, oh, yeah. who's... 16 and she said oh i would give this to my friends easy. Yeah, this is easier great. to give than a bible it's funny because it is the bible it is right? but gideon <laughs> gideon it is was also smart enough to know the times have changed yeah and they That's changed cool. with it i'm impressed well what's amazing about it and we need to get this I'm in. for our kids yes i'm in i'm not I'm a part of that well i'm just on i'm a volunteer for yeah. josh yeah he's on our side bro don't, please don't steal his, him his uh youth group this weekend um, and I have a small group tonight at my house. Yes, you do. My Saddleback boys that I shepherd. Um, but they give these free. <laughs> they give these Bibles free to yeah, you. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, really? Up yes. to 50 per kid, even. 50 per kid. 50 per kid. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. That's, that's, that is Chris, wait, let me get the website on that. It's, I think it's thelifebook.com. Thelifebook.com. Yep. 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 That's great. That, yeah, and, and I just think it's cool. I, I blogged about it last week. Only... Uh, and they didn't know no incentive. I just thought it's brilliant. Yeah, it's really brilliant. Yeah, the so, Yeah, that's oh, great. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it's cool. You should put it on your blog. I'm going to. Oh, you already do have it on week. your blog. Um, my name is Alex Gorod. I love pronunciations. <laughs> You're so good at them too. Thank you. I work at Goldendale New Life Assembly of God. Yes, Doug. I want to buy a Honda. Do you know what that means? Mm -mm. New Light or Assembly of God. Huh? Sounds you don't know what that means? New Light uh, This guy's very insider. Because wow. he pronounces, gives us pronunciation for his last name. Wow. New Assembly of God. When I say Assembly of God, I go into my fake speaking in tongues. And it's just, say, what about Honda, real quick. What about Honda? <laughs> got about a Honda? Got about a Honda? Oh. Got a bikini out, you got about a right Honda? <laughs> um, okay. I've never heard that bit before. I don't remember that bit. Well, I know every one of your bits. That's how I feel. Backwards and forwards. I feel like I can Obvious do some of your bits not. better I've than got you. Them Obvious. <laughs> <laughs> I've been listening yes. since zero zero, though I almost quit early on when Natalie took a turn and gave us a different mm -hmm. view of her. Mm -hmm. I love insider. the staff he meeting knows. and gives me both inspiration, especially when Matt is there, and laughter every time I listen to it. I delayed sending this email till I had an actual question, so here it is. <laughs> I'm putting together a parent-student night for the first time. This is specifically for students coming into our six into our group, sixth graders moving into seventh. I was wondering if the host, Josh, as well as the rest of you, could give me some advice about what it might look like besides free food to make it worthwhile. Thanks for your time. P.S. Thanks for the Lifebook info. Signed up today. Oh, that's, that's cool. cool. Wow. 
Yeah. All right, so boil it down to one question. I kind of zoned out in the middle when he said the host Six part. I just went, this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'll send the theme song so from Rock. Well, I, this, it's hot in this room. Now it's actually a it's sauna. Warm. Thank warm. you. It is warm, but I think you've made it a little warm. <laughs> <laughs> I actually feel a little bad for here. you. Not uh, just, not no, just I don't on need your pity. mismanagement of I'm good. your time. But, uh, <laughs> there it is. See? It's at, uh, oh, bam. All right. Oh, just that you see, see there I can do your bits. Anyhow, what? <laughs> Here's the thing. Uh, it's a great question, everybody. This is a perfect time to answer it, too. A lot of promotions happening next month and some at the end of the summer. So what do you do? Good yeah. question. Chris, can we, man, could you open that door? It could is we get a small I'm box not, fan I'm just pointing right at me? Josh is making me hot. It's because you're so it's not the first time. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> That cool air feels good. It is hot in there. <laughs> Could I just have a life book to fan myself with? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, cool. um, no, but so, you can have an almighty Bible. Oh, I will take it. Mm. No. Nope. Parents' night. Uh, yeah, parents', parents night is a great idea. We, I, the best thing we did, we've only done it once, it was two years ago. We did a freshman orientation night, and it was incredible. Unfortunately, we threw it together at the last minute, and those things oftentimes don't work, but it was awesome. We had like a, a little opening, welcome, prayer, whatever, and then we kind of toured people through the different things that we do. So we went into a room, and we talked about ministry. We went into a room, talked about the weekend service. We went into a different room. So we kind of just walk them through um, our discipleship process, the purposes, and they had a little punch card, and if they went to each room, they could get... 25 bucks off of camp or something like that and which also was an incentive to get these new Student kids. Leadership conference at Azusa that, would be, <laughs> that would be a great idea. Um, that was the best thing we've ever done. We've done a lot of other things with with free food or you know even this weekend we're pulling out the eighth graders and we're doing a free root beer floats and like a little camp promo slash meet the high school pastor deal and so there's a lot of easy ways to do it but those are one that one that's worked really well and I hope one that works really well this weekend. Yeah. We do a thing when for incoming seventh graders, um, and we partner with the children's ministry, um, and it's just like a a night um, for about an hour and a half, and um, same kind of thing where we're like meeting parents and students. We do some fun stuff, you know, we play you know a game like Family Feud or something like that, and um, but then we do we take the students aside and get to know them a little bit, and the parents stay and hear a little bit about like junior high development and kind of what they're in for and here's some things to expect about your student and about our ministry. So, cause I think we have a lot of parents come in that are like super freaked out about yeah. junior high. And so try to do a little bit of a time where we're like, well, here's what you can expect and here's what's happening, going to happen with your student cool. and that kind of thing too, which has been really fun. It's good. I yeah. like the I like the developmental piece because yes. you know when you're a first time parent of junior hires you don't realize you know what, what you're, in you're into for. Yeah. yeah totally yeah, so it's that's a cool good. piece Matt what are you guys doing to welcome incoming freshmen we're gonna do the same thing as far as having a meeting but I don't know what the meeting's gonna look like oh. we're doing some stuff where I've gone to a couple junior high events that are pretty. They, they do it. There's a late start on Wednesday, so they gather all the dudes and call it man club and make them eat gross food and all that stuff. Um, <laughs> so I showed up to one or two of those. Um, but we're idea. gonna do. We're gonna have some kind of a meeting. We're trying to go over to junior high ministry. This actually next weekend is the first time. We our promotions weird. We do it two weeks before school's out, which is all driven by the children's ministry. Interesting. Which I've got no say or input over. It's actually not a bad idea. The only reason the only reason I say that is because when you wait till schools, yeah, you know, oftentimes you miss that. Everybody goes. Yeah, people are leaving leave for vacation yeah. the day after school's out. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I mean, we haven't. Well, we don't have. I, I would say I don't have a super strong. Solid I think. I think. You know, I wrote right down now. as you guys were talking all. All great ideas. Um, is I would say that. You definitely want to cast vision, have something in paper yeah. about what your ministry is about, uh, introduce your volunteers, help parents mm. realize that you are, you know, you may be the point person, but all of these people shepherd your, you know, the kids, and yeah. you know, yeah. and you put a stamp of endorsement on on those volunteers, and then I'd set up your values. I I make sure that you know, 
they're not going to remember 12 of them, but you know, two or three values. Hey, folks, there's going to be some things that happen uh, that you're going to hear about. You know, before you start talking to other people about those things, call me. You know, one of the values I have is when you want to complain, complain straight to me. You know, you Let set them right them out, of the, gate. Right out yeah. of the gate that that uh, you, you know the idea is not for them to be divisive, but they're, if they need to share something, come come right at me. But value parents' time. That's yeah. that's the deal. I don't yeah. as a parent. I don't want to go to anything if you're going to waste my time. So. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good question. This is from, oh, this is Aaron. He sent a picture on the other one. This is what <laughs> our buddy Aaron looks like. Oh, oh it's not a tiara. It's nice. Yeah, we need to put it's a good him look. up. Did up you on print the wall. that all by yourself? It was just like that. Oh, okay. but I'll, I'll put it. I'm setting it impressive. aside. Yeah. And this one is a great. This is a great face, Taylor Murray, which I appreciate faces because. Most oh of the goodness. faces. In he looks like Todd Cooper. <laughs> a little bit with dark <laughs> hair. Yeah. He but looks like he's using FaceTime or a photo booth on I the Mac, but he's not. I appreciate funny faces, and that was a good That's one. Awesome. He says, I'm sitting watching episode 159. You're talking about the strangest thing you've ever done with your volunteers. Um, and so he, he tells a story about having to house sit um, where they didn't pay him. But they said they could have whatever was in the fridge and basically give him and his wife a break from their apartment. Oh, nice. He says, uh, but they had a dog, and this guy was a computer nerd, and he wouldn't let him use the Wi-Fi. So there's nothing in the fridge. They've got a dog. They can't use Wi-Fi. And they're not getting paid. He says, the dog was the worst, so everything else about it. By the second day, we called them and told them that my allergies were reacting to the dog, which they weren't. And asked what? if we could get <laughs> another youth leader to finish out the last week oh. and a half. They were fine with that. The next girl lasted one day, made up an excuse, and got out of it. By the end of the two weeks, six different youth leaders, I'm not exaggerating, had watched the house. Uh, well, the last one let the dog out and forgot about it. It ran away, never to be found again. The end. No! <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe he lied. He should have just let the dog out. Yeah, he should have. He should have <laughs> set the dog free. Wow! I can't believe he just didn't but that's unplug a, the router and reset it. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah. Oh. That's a call back to a couple episodes ago. Oh. We were talking about weird things that happen with volunteers. That's impressive. How can you invite people over to your house and not let them use the internet? I don't know. Or eat your oh, food. Security. You have something to hide. That's why. Oh. I wouldn't let you use my internet. Just kidding. <laughs> Um, Just kidding. We don't have internet. This is from <laughs> this is from Sean Griffin. Hey, oh, interesting. Northside Baptist Church, Willington, North Carolina. I got to witness cool. something really cool by one of our middle school students last night. I was scrolling my news feed on Facebook when I noticed a post that one of my students put on another student's page. She tells him that she can't be friends with him anymore because he chooses to get high and lie to her all the time. The guy starts making fun of her beliefs in God. She responds by saying. You can say whatever you want about me, but I know I have God on my side. Um, you see, I take my religion seriously. I love God, and nothing can change that. I'm being serious. I've been ministering to this girl since she was in fourth grade. She's now in eighth grade, and it was cool to see her owning her faith. Here's my question. The guy she was talking with has just recently started coming to our midweek service. Awesome. Maybe five weeks now. I've been able to grow a relationship with this student. I don't want the conversation to cause this com Facebook conversation to cause him to stop coming. Should I say something to him if he comes no. to our service about the conversation with the girl student? No. If he doesn't come back, should I do more than the usual I haven't seen you in a while type thing and reaching out to him? And then he writes a paragraph of thanking us for... He's a he's a um, a volunteer middle school director. So he's you a should talk to the school. girl and say, if you're going to confront somebody, don't do it publicly. I mean, that's the first thing. So cool that she stood up for her faith. Not cool that she did it on somebody's wall where everybody could see it. I mean, that's, I think that's a, that's a given, especially sure. since this person has a relationship with that student. You know, that's an easy place to go and to say, man, it is so great that you have made this great decision and your friendship. And I mean, this is, this is good in a hundred ways. It's not so great in in one small way. I mean, I wouldn't blow it out of the water and say it's a big deal, but it is a big deal. You don't confront somebody in public like that. Um, well, and you could affirm <clears throat> her by saying that maybe, and we don't know the timeline here, but maybe her bold statement is what triggered this guy to come 
for the last yeah. well that's like, that's true too. too but i would not with the kid that just showed up i wouldn't bring this up and talk yeah. to him about that i mean yeah. that's there's there's nothing to be gained mm -hmm. by that yeah. nothing at all now no, I mean, I if you want to sign up for leadership and and babysitting the senior pastor's children and, and yeah. teaching a new believers class then maybe you'd talk to him about that <laughs> maybe, maybe, we we maybe that. yeah <laughs> yeah one step at a time yeah yeah, but, yeah. Well, I think just love on him, you know, begin yeah. building a relationship with him. Totally. And, you know, I yeah. think, I think coaching her and building a relationship with him yeah. between, you know, even if she kind of, you know, I don't know, there could be something cool that could happen with that student. It's good. Yeah. It's yeah. good. It's good. Um, Chris, how's our live show doing? Good. How's Ron doing? We have about 40 people. Whoa. Nice. Wow. How's USC underscore Ron? Mm -hmm. Football USC. Oh, Good try, Ronald. honey. Well, you can type Library's in your own over, name. Guys. <laughs> oh, my uh, Library might be. Oh, over. Library's yeah, over. Sorry, lost, guys, I was a little late, so probably that's why. Yeah, yeah it's. Thanks yeah. for admitting it. Yeah. Hey, I apologized earlier. You didn't hear me. No. I wasn't thinking. Here enough. You know, yeah. <laughs> and you're late every week. <laughs> Apologies, everybody. <everywhere. laughs> this is from Jody and why Janet. Why do I come back? <laughs> oh, I don't get paid. I don't. Oh, I feel like I'm dog, dog sitting this right now. This is like dog a sitting pack podcast. hammer compared to the sledgehammer I get every week. Seriously. There's nothing in the refrigerator. Oh gosh. Doop, doop, doop. Just... This is the tack hammer. <laughs> a tack oh, yeah. hammer. I've been hammered week after week. Surely you it's can handle it. It's a symbol of your strength, though. It's well, good. Uh, you always get the guy on top. I realize that. <laughs> Today. Uh, no go. kidding, man. I love you it, dude. Welcome and back. I'm talking over people. Five episodes, not so much. Today, you're back. Uh, good. Uh, I'm going to crack my heart. <laughs> dude, your heart's over. He said, Jody and Janet Alvis. From? Goes insane. Please don't use my city. It's <laughs> <laughs> a weird place. <laughs> Have you seen Thor yet? Yes, I really enjoyed it. Mm. 3D. Juicy Thor yet? No. Oh, gosh. Uh, Gotta work. Speaking of nameless <laughs> cities, <laughs> we we're. <laughs> oh yeah, man. I wish oh, I could yeah. play video games. You're, oh, you're yeah. just tending to your mogul ship. In the, uh, <laughs> the go ride. ahead, little one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, questions. Uh, okay, Jody I'm from Walla Walla. Fun. Here we go. Our teens from our former youth group still contact us and still want us to be a part of their lives, which we're happy to do since their parents still want us in their lives. Too. Matt, you want to just take this one now, or you want to finish the question? <laughs> <laughs> but they finally realized that the church will not be bringing us back. My girls from the girls group, God started through me, are trying to get all of us together to talk about having a group outside of the church. I'm very unsure about this, but I'm the only one they trust. It's not just the girls, but some of the group as well as some of the parents. I don't really know what to do. <clears throat> Matt, in three words, answer this question. Don't be divisive. Oh. <laughs> that, job, why would that surprise wow. you? No, just, just the, three words. Look what I wrote down. Don't be divisive. <gasps> no. Oh. So you read his notes. No. <laughs> <laughs> could, could you read that? No. What does yeah. it say? Don't be divisive. No, it does not. Yeah. Yes, it does. It's like... Yeah. Egyptian something. Don't. It is. I, I, oh, okay. Egyptian's I funny. can kind of see it. Yeah. Egyptian. No, that's funny. It's uh, okay, next question. <laughs> if it was no, we're not. That's it. If it was pictures, it would have been <laughs> hieroglyphics. Oh, Pictographs. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I think... That would be funny to like... <laughs> I think that's your your overarching principle is to yeah, stay it. away from being divisive. Uh, I probably have some conversations with people in the leadership. Yeah. If you do meet with them, you're never bad talk in the church, yeah. you know, the yeah. whole bit. But you can't do ministry with people for years and then just yeah. because yeah. the church doesn't want you back, you pull out of their life. Right. right. Yeah. Because the the cold, the hard comment that you were looking for me to say was, oh, that was it. churches yeah. don't own their people, right? Well, I was That's looking for the word no, just no. Yeah, just but no. yes. No, I mean, I think you got to maintain a relationship. I mean, even in my situation right now, where so many of the key leaders have left um, before, I, before I came, a lot of the key leaders left high school ministry and went to junior high ministry to run the junior high, junior high ministry. A ton of high school kids, a ton, like large percentage-wise for us, 
are totally plugged into junior high and doing junior high stuff. And when you try and rally them together to do stuff, they're doing junior high leadership meetings or this, that. And, and it's great to see them connected right. and serving. But then part of it's like, oh, man, it'd be great to have these guys to help build. But ultimately, when I'm saying these guys are connected, you can't, I can't expect them to, to not have these relationships, these small groups that have been going for four years and, and stuff like that. And so it's hard. It's hard coming in and seeing some of the, the core people in the ministry feeding somewhere else. But that doesn't mean, I mean, life is hard. You know, and so and these guys in junior high, they're being so great and so supportive, and there's no divisiveness at all. And there is, hey, we're all on the same team and plan. But I think with this, you know, you've left the church or whatever, been asked to leave or something like that. You can't, you can't just pretend that they don't want. You can't just cut everything off and have no contact and connection and say, don't talk to me, because that'll be funny and weird, and that'll create division. Even doing it that way, yeah. but talking to the leadership. And saying, hey, look, what do you guys, what's the right thing here? What, what do you think honors you and the next person? And Do you think a small group outside of the church with the same kids who were just asked to not be a part of their life by the church leadership, do you think that in any way is going to be healthy or helpful? Yeah, in some ways it can be. To the kids, maybe. To you, maybe. But to the leadership of the church, they will never view that as a good thing. Not a chance. Well, they may not have, they may not have anybody in the youth ministry leadership position I mean, we don't know. The yeah, I would say they probably don't. That. But I, the but, reason he's feeling tension, or is she? I'm sorry. Who the reason they're feeling tension is because they realize this could be very divisive, and it even if it's not, it will be yeah. perceived as divisive. Yeah. I think it's a no-win situation. No is the answer. Oh wow! It's tough though. I think really, from, from yeah, absolutely. The student perspective, though, Coming like strong. I love so it. Weird. When you have somebody new come in, I mean, oh. let's if these girls You're are welcome. seniors. Yeah. And they're yeah. graduating, you know, I mean, like, who cares? Sure. I mean, because I feel like they're, they're probably not going to reconnect to a new, even if they're juniors, I feel like it's tough. Possible. Yeah. You know, if they've been with somebody for three years, I mean, obviously we don't know the backstory, but I think from the student perspective, it's not easy to fall in love with a leader and to have that connection and that mentorship. And it's hard as a leader to toss that aside when, you know, I can understand their tension of... If, it, if the small group was great and it was good and the mentoring was great and healthy and yeah, I don't know if it's a hard thing to say is not a good thing ever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe that's, I mean, that's why she wrote it in. It's not an easy answer. Right. It's so we got a no answer. from Josh. We have a don't be divisive from Matt and I. Yeah. And we have a... I don't know what I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't try and box me in. That's what you were. Well, I just right, personalized exactly. the question. If I have a volunteer who I let go, mm -hmm. and then they continue meeting with their girls outside, and they start their own non-Saddleback, non-HSM group. Sure. It will be, I will perceive that as nothing but, I let you go for a reason, yeah. and now you're doing this thing on the side. There's no way I can perceive that as anything other than what it is. And so I think they're in a no-win situation. Would it be different if they came to talk Impossible. to you? Like if they said, hey, I have help. these six girls that I've been with for a couple of years... And the reason we let you go is because they need to learn to trust someone else. Well, and it so depends if you on continue, why you let them go. Yeah, you, yeah, you well, right, but, but there's a reason enough that they, that they quit or the person let go, whatever. Sure. Yeah. Something happened there. The reason I mean, why they're asking this question. Sending new students to that leader, that parent know, the parents of those kids would know that that person's no longer on your volunteer I team. Would send a, I would send an email to all the parents in that group and say, this person's been let go, da 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 da, da. we have sure. a new group for them. Yeah. We well, realize not, that the we trust is know, hard to break, like, you know. With, her, with those, the one we just read, we don't know that they got let go. Could be True. a budget yeah. thing. True. They yeah. didn't have the. Uh, there are some innocuous reasons. And also, I too, it's cool to trust that God's in control. Good vocab. Thank you. <laughs> There's a sovereignty of God card. Yeah. You can just take that and put That's that on the true. table. You don't have to control everything. All right. So. <laughs> I'm just saying, That's perception a surprising wins. answer, though. We're all. We're all a little surprised that, that he's coming down that hard on that. It's great. It is great. Well, I it's, love it. It's also a little bit, let's let's put a little context. Josh just had a just had to let a volunteer go. Oh, I didn't know this. Yeah, Josh had to let a volunteer go. And actually, Ooh, just uh, kidding. doesn't matter. And <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. this guy who moved into the area took over his small group. Now, oh. if that volunteer kept pursuing meetings with kids... Right. But see, we're assuming because you're a good leader, Josh, and you you got you know we don't know in their setting if they have a youth yes. pastor. So I'm saying for sure. I think we're for saying sure. to her, don't be divisive. So go to that church and say, 
Right. These girls still want to meet. I'm happy yeah. to meet with them. I've been yes. just in their life. If it's okay with you guys, great. I mean, we're going to meet. Yeah. Unless you sit, tell us not to. We had a small, years ago, years ago, and, she, and they're no longer connected to our church. We asked the volunteer to leave for a year because they were living with their boyfriend and, you know, whatever. I mean, if their small group would have been still meeting, we would have said no. I mean, that's right. because that was more of a, yeah. a moral and lifestyle. Totally. And so, totally. There you go. I'm just saying I can't win. Jim Lane, Christmas tree guy, Calvary Baptist Church, Ozark, Arkansas. Do you have internet and computers available to students in your worship center? If so, do you monitor or block content? Also, do you have any cell phone rules for your students during worship time? That's a good question. (laughs) (laughs) We, uh... You're watching me discipline Matt. (laughs) Quietly. Yeah, was this but Matt still has his phone, so there's I been no feel discipline. Like that's more coaching. Cell phone rules, like in our weekend service. <laughs> do you have any uh, cell phone rules for students during worship time? We just do before when we like right before our message time. We get up and kind of just do a like, a hey, we're headed into the message time. You know, put away your cell phone, put it on silent for now. You know, like we don't make a huge issue about it. And so, you don't have any seventh graders taking notes on to Evernote. Mm-mm. Such a great yeah. app. You are so some... proud of yourself. Yeah. Just no. learning. You're wearing <laughs> Evernote. <laughs> yeah, you got to check. Learning, you're wearing Evernote colors right now. If oh. they tell me they're taking notes on their phone, they're like, so yeah. there's no way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're so, texting their girlfriend. No, yeah, we just do a little like, hey, put it away for now. And usually it's pretty effective. Yeah. Just a little mention of it. Yeah, we started doing the transition piece of, hey, we're now shifting gears in our service and be a little bit more serious. If you want to talk, go ahead and go outside. But but I don't, if people are quiet, I don't care if they're on their cell phones and and stuff. We actually have them. I give a box like, hey, draw a picture of something that relates to the talk. Snap, draw a picture, snap a pic, and, and text it to me. Just, yeah. how's that been going? It's fun. It's get, I get funny stuff every week. Sometimes I get a ton. Sometimes I get one or two. I never really, I never talk about it. I never say, hey, do this if you want. It's just there for, yeah. But we had one table that was so noisy last week. I mean, like, I was this close to just calling him out. I'm a kinder, more gentler man. Why didn't you? Yeah, well, I'm what just, in the world? I was just about to. Another student from another table gets up, um, walks two tables over, says something to him, and then comes back. Oh, uh, you! It's a, it's the a daughter of a family you told me about. Uh, the Mick. <laughs> Should we go off the air for a second? Say, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. They were just loud, but it was just oh, funny. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Which was great. But, um, that was doing all the talking? She was at hey, that So, day. anyhow, yeah, yeah, what yeah, do you yeah. think we... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> we were just going to have our own yeah, side conversation great. as well. You, you wouldn't know who this person is. It was from Doug's yeah, youth ministry. Neither would our team. Ago. Yeah. Well, that's the point. It's secretive. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's um, you, sorry. It feels good. Thank you. I, I, think, I think you have to have some... Both sides. Yeah. I think you have some guidelines. I think you keep them loose, though, because, you know, four and a half billion people on the planet have a mobile device. So it is part of, it so is. much a part of our culture that we've got to figure out, us older folks have got to figure out how to incorporate it more into our teaching yourself, time. Or? Oh, you're old. I know, I'm almost 40. We used the phone, we used phones in the message this week. It was fun. We just were kicked off our parent series. And so I got through the intro of the message and then I said, hey, grab your phone really quick. And they voted on a scale of one to five where they're at in their relationship with their family. Yeah. It was super interesting. Told them it was anonymous, that we weren't going to whatever, so to yeah. be honest. Yeah. And um, then after the results from polleverywhere.com appeared on the screen, they all uh, put the, I said, hey, put your phones away. You know, if you want to text later, that's fine. But yeah. really appreciate your honesty. Kind of made it right in the, in the program piece. Yeah. It was really, really fun. That's cool. And I, I love the title of your series right now. How to Raise Your Parents. It's awesome. It's pretty fun. We had some really good ideas. Yeah. And that was the one that won. I feel like junior high, like not all my, just now are more students, or the majority of my students Mm. have cell phones. Like I feel like. Yeah. What's the magic number right? Seventh grade. I feel like sixth grade, seventh grade. So like in the beginning of the year, we can't do a whole lot of tech stuff or anything like that because we alienate half our crowd. Yeah. But by their freshman year, they for sure, yeah, at least in our school, context, they I have them. You can do a lot they more for sure. There's a couple students that don't, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's always some students that don't. I mean, a couple. Group. Yeah. Literally. Who doesn't have a phone? Yeah. But it's okay, because when I text everybody, sometimes I don't want this kid to show up anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're going to In-N-Out. Sorry, oh, dude. Oh, yeah. Weird. Oh, oh, I forgot to send a separate paper letter to your mom and to get permission. Yeah. That's funny. Um, 
All right, how about a medical marijuana question from Seth? Are you serious? Um, hey, you want to just feel this one now? Uh, yes or no? Don't be divisive. <laughs> What, how can there be a question about I've been this? watching the podcast since I started full-time every week a few years ago. It's I'm so definitely a Rewind Podcast <laughs> team member. You guys want to go <laughs> uh, Podcast <laughs> team member, which we need. If you are Seth, we need your picture, so send that in. Yep. I get so much encouragement from watching, watching and listening every week. So here's my question. One of my high school volunteers is on permanent disability and uses medical marijuana very regularly. Recently, a parent has questioned whether or not he should be using and also leading our students. Though he doesn't have a problem with him using, just using and leading our kids. I've recently told him he's no longer allowed to drive uh, students. <laughs> I have just all these thoughts about munchies right now. Uh, drive students around for anything youth ministry related. And he for took all it, youth okay. events, he's in charge of snacks. <laughs> I'm now wondering, though, if that's a thing that ever comes up in other youth ministries and if I should ask him to step down from our ministry because of his lack of ability to mentally be there with our students and our services um, in small groups. I'm really good friends with him and his family, which makes it tough. And what makes it even tougher is that he is the son of our senior pastor and Holy husband smokes. of our children's pastor. You know what? We, need to, fun, do a, right? we need to do a book smokes. of senior pastor children. Just stories, stories yeah. from the crypt. <laughs> Something <laughs> I like it be, from the pulpit. Yeah, yeah, love the it. Crypt. Oh, the yeah, crypt. how beneath how the pulpit is this one? It, the twist at the end was great. Like, <laughs> blah blah blah, <laughs> medical marijuana, really no exactly. drug. And then he's like, and oh, bam, yeah. Yeah. son of the senior pastor and husband of our children's sh- pastor. That's amazing. No wonder he smokes weed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's getting hit I'm in yeah. I'm thinking about the email. <laughs> I want some just hearing that conversation. No. That's a good question. I was actually more worried about what the leadership would think. But clearly the that, But goes. clearly they're on board. Yeah. So I think you're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clearly the leadership. Holy so joints in the morning. <laughs> I uh, okay, first of all, have we ever had the situation? I'm going to say no. <laughs> have you guys ever I've had it? I've never had it. Never okay, had so it. we're speaking out of I mean, we had, what we, we had, may or may maybe not. Maybe we've had it. We just didn't. <laughs> yeah. No, we, we had, had it. I didn't inhale. We That's had, what I We know. actually <laughs> had a guy leave. It, we asked him to leave, but it wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't medical? Well, it wasn't medical, although he was. Write the name down? Sparklets. Just think sparklets. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He was smoking weed on the side, and said you know i'm in chronic pain which the guy was but it wasn't you know miracle yeah miracle it miracle wasn't marijuana. Miracle marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he had it miracle it marijuana miracle. <laughs> all right so this this will be an interesting show notes that you put together for us <laughs> yeah. yeah i mean honestly what, 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 what do you do? do yeah i mean if he's not there if he's not mentally there when he's with students then yeah he shouldn't be with students because how can you how can you help or disciple sure. or whatever when you're you're out of your mind yeah. so i mean so that's that part of it's a slam dunk. I mean, the fact that right. it is marijuana, um, it's which just in a this context point. is legal, right? It's totally legal, but but it's legal to cheat on your wife. I mean, it's there's other things that are legal that you just wouldn't have a leader do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, but that's also immoral. Yeah, that's immoral. But. But being out of your yeah, I, I'm. I, you would say the grounds is, the good. grounds are not the marijuana. The grounds is any leader would be removed if they're not competent and loving and caring. Yeah, I mean, if someone was on lucid, if yeah. someone yeah. was on Percocet, I wouldn't want them leading a small group while they're on anything. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah. So you'd rather have them be in severe stone. pain leading the small group. I wonder if he's talked to <laughs> more guys. Oh, I wish I Yeah, then find another ministry. Yeah. Well, I, ha- I, I wonder if there's freedom to talk to the children's pastor or, you know, I mean, even the senior pastor. I mean, I know they're all related, but because they're all related, you know, maybe there's like, hey, is there, maybe there's guidance from the senior yeah. pastor, you know. Well, Chris, you've got a lot or... of experience with marijuana. <laughs> well, this, this, where this <laughs> he is grows funny it out on his... is that as all soon of... as I say mar- medical marijuana, Matt's like, whoa, how could, marijuana, how could that be a question? And this is now like a stumper. <laughs> 
I'm not stumped. <laughs> no, you'd let the guy go. Let's be honest. Yeah. You would. You'd come yeah. strong. I'd and, be soft and, and gentle and let the Holy Spirit lead. And you... I would do the same. You guys have just been <laughs> passing that back and forth today. Oh, I I'd could. do the same. No, there's also... There is the serious question of, does the guy really need it? I mean, that's... And I know that they're good friends, and so you get asked that question. But you can get a license... You can get a prescription. Over the internet. Yeah. Well, okay. disability. It's a tough one. It's a tough question. I don't yeah. think this is it. I don't think this so is it. So we don't have no easy. experience I'm just and joking. did not answer. I'm just joking, too. Yeah. I don't think that's okay. an easy question. Gosh, we got, we got that three, was a good question. Three left that I've filtered out. One is um, one is a wild, wild story. <laughs> of, let me just tell you this story. There goes the iPad on the ground. <laughs> what? I hope that wasn't mine. That's uh, an iPad one. Don't worry about it. Okay. Sorry. I just saw an iPad flying through the air. This is um, two teenagers, boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah. Have sex. Okay. That happens. Uh huh. They break up. This guy's dad starts dating this kid's mom. Oh, wow. Now they're getting married. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Holy smokes. And neither of the parents know that the soon to be siblings have had sex. Have had sex. While they it's were upper influence, <laughs> medical marijuana, <laughs> and so this What's youth that? worker is asking. Can you stop and laugh for how funny that was? What? That was can funny. you stop and laugh for how That's your funny. laughter didn't really upward influence? You didn't match the quality of yeah, that humor. It wasn't really. No, Josh has said some funnier things today. Good try though. Well, that might be true, but that one was. <laughs> no, it's not. I don't. I don't think. It's like telling somebody, hey, "I've got a really funny story." I, uh, I know. You can't say that. No, you just you just have to let. If it's truly funny, Matt will laugh. Yeah, don't try to let us grade it because okay. it'll always be just graded lower. Just value my laughter. I laugh. I value your laughter. Well. <laughs> I think I think what I you've think got to do in this situation <laughs> is I think you've got to have a meeting with the parents, and you have to let them you have to let them know what they're what they're walking into. Can you meet Would with you the kids first? Would you have said first? that before you had kids in high school? Would you have ratted, well, out, I don't think ratted you, out those no, I don't, children? No, I don't think you have to rat them out. I think oh. you, you need to say, you know, you great, congratulations. You guys are blended families bring up a lot of issues. Yeah. You have issues squared because your kids dated one another. I mean, they have to know that. Right. right. Um, you know, my suggestion to you is you dig, you dig a little deep and talk to them about their relationship. Mom, you need to have a conversation with your daughter. Dad, you need to have a conversation with your son. And, yeah. and just see what your home environment is going to create. Um, Something like this just happened. Some some step-siblings are getting married like next week. It was in, on E! News this morning at the gym. So it, this is uncommon. That's but crazy. I would say... Well, yeah. it's not. It's I not think precedent it's, setting anymore. Yeah, with all the, the blended families and stuff, right. I think it's going to be become more common to have complicated scenarios. Yeah, mean, yeah. More and because more it's complicated not like scenarios. they're really when they are living together. It's not like they're really brother and sister. I mean, that's not. You don't instantly they become one. They're one. Well, that's the other side too. But I mean, even Mom if let's say nothing Mary, ever happened, it's not like all of a sudden it's like, daughter. hey, sis, how's it going? I mean, yeah. she's not your sister. But he's right, and it's going to bring up some <laughs> serious... It will just mess with your head. Oh, totally. She's your sister I mean, from another mother. Whether you're not blood-related or not, <laughs> the trauma... From the same... Way. Right. <laughs> but just, just think of the temptations. Head. I mean, that's... What yeah. I'm hearing you say is... I'm saying maybe no. they should family just <laughs> figure yes, both. Or chest yeah, I think belts. a family meeting... <laughs> would, would, would you ever have just gone to the students and say, hey, I know about this, or we, you've both confess to me or talk to one of them and then say will you please you go yeah i think that's another way to do it I'd, gonna, I'd prefer that letting the kids just bring it up but i see yeah, the value I, but way. if i have a relationship with the parents i'm i'm doing that yeah as well but you, i think you attack it both ways yeah that's good uh, well dude. um that's let's end there ken leslie we're going to start with yours next week oh, uh, don't mean we don't somewhere. Lose your email. i'd resend that ken no, oh, he's right behind you he's I on the wall he's I fine got, i got it right in i got a new folder that's <laughs> oh, an elaborate new filing system. Yeah. Well, guys, we to honor your time, by, um, we need to. We, we need got to another one by MC, and MC, I could answer your question like Matt McGill. I think you cut your losses and leave. But we'll talk about that next week. <laughs> All right, you guys, very fun show. If you oh, have questions, nice. sympodcast at gmail.com. Uh, 
visit uh, morethandodgeball.com and buy Josh's stuff. What about Josh's my awesome stuff. website? Visit Matt's loving Jesus requires you to like kids.com. That's right. Um, Twitter.com slash Matt McGill. And, uh, <laughs> <That's it. no. laughs> and Dougfields.com. Dougfields.com. And Katie Edwards. No, I'm good. Katie, yeah, how come you don't? We'll save that for next week. <laughs> when am I going to join the Youth Ministry Blog Network here? When you start blogging. Goodbye, everybody. Uh, <laughs>